Uh, the early 1980s. What a wild time that was for music. I mean, disco was fading out. The top 40 scene was changing greatly. Punk rock had morphed into some sort of new wave or modern rock. Hair bands were taking root, no pun intended. But bottom line, there was a lot of music, good and bad, to choose from. And as we focus on albums released 40 years ago in 1982, yeah, it really has been 40 years or very close to it that we first heard all of these. In 1982, there were debut solo albums from Janet Jackson, Billy Idol, the hit White Wedding on that one. He did put out a four-song EP the previous year. Uh, let's see, Aldo Nova, Donald Fagan from uh, Steely Dan. Eagles alum Don Henley had his first solo hit that year, Dirty Laundry, from that album. Led Zepp's Robert Plant, Marshall Crenshaw, Lionel Richie. Oh, and Laura Branigan, who gave us the massive hit, Gloria. Now, while I like Aerosmith, Cheap Trick, and Queen a lot, their 1982 albums, frankly, were not that great. That would be Rock in a Hard Place, One on One, and Hot Space. Yuck. Although the latter album by Queen did include their fantastic collaboration with David Bowie, the song Under Pressure. Unfortunately, the rest of the album pretty much sucked. All right, we got new albums in 82 from Chicago, Elton John, Neil Young, Crosby, Stills, and Nash, without Young. Also, uh, the Alan Parsons Project, Blondie, Elvis Costello, The Cure, Talking Heads, REO Speedwagon, Pat Benatar, Paul McCartney, Warren Zevon, Squeeze, 38 Special, The Steve Miller Band, and oh yeah, this one from Billy Squire. I love this one, I gotta be honest. The Who put out It's Hard, the very last one that featured bass player John Entwistle. Eminence Front and Athena were the hits on that one. Kiss dropped Creatures of the Night in 82. Rush released Signals. And Van Halen put out Diver Down. Loved the VH cover of Oh Pretty Woman on there. For those of you into acronyms or bands going simply by letters, well, 1982 gave us albums from ABC, NXS, REM, UFO, X, and XTC. I kid you not. Now, some other memorable albums from that year included Culture Club's debut, Kissing to be Clever, featuring Do You Really Want to Hurt Me? Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers gave us Long After Dark, featuring You Got Lucky and Change of Heart. Some other big ones from 1982, Dire Straits, Love Over Gold, Picture This by Huey Lewis and the News with the hits Do You Believe in Love and Working for a Living. Phil Collins' second solo album came out that year, Hello, I Must Be Going. I Don't Care Anymore. Yeah, that was on there. Peter Gabriel's fourth solo album with the monster hit Shock the Monkey on it. Bruce Springsteen released Nebraska, critically acclaimed and highly regarded by many fans, but not one of my favorites of the boss, to be honest. Duran Duran had a huge hit with Rio with the title song and Hungry Like the Wolf on it. The Mirage album by Fleetwood Mac had the hits Gypsy and Hold Me. Heavy metal fans got Iron Maiden's The Number of the Beast. And, oh yeah, Rainbows, Straight Between the Eyes. I like that one. Judas Priest put out Screaming for Vengeance. Also, Toto's fourth album was a smash, thanks to the songs Rosanna and Africa, which we still hear a lot 40 years later. Okay, let's wrap up with my personal top 10 albums released in 1982. Number 10 will be on very few others' list, but hey, I loved it. The band UFO and the album Mechanics. At number nine, a massive hit by Prince, 1999, featuring that great title song, plus Delirious and Little Red Corvette. At number eight is this one from the Scorpions, the album Blackout. Okay, not my favorite album of theirs, but thanks to the song No One Like You, it just has to be on the list. At number seven and number six, respectively, then two albums that got played everywhere in the early and mid-80s, the debut album from Asia with the huge hits, Heat of the Moment and Only Time Will Tell, and Billy Joel's The Nylon Curtain, which included Allentown, Pressure, and Goodnight Saigon. At number five, American Fool by John Cougar, before he was allowed to change the last name to Mellencamp, his real name. It was his breakthrough with the hits Hurt So Good and Jack and Diane. Okay, number four, this may surprise some people, but hey, there's no denying the quality of this one. It is, after all, the top-selling album of all time, if I'm not mistaken, with seven top ten singles on it. Michael Jackson's Thriller, yeah, with the title song plus Wanna Be Starting Something, 
Beat It and Billie Jean, among others. Um, yeah, my top three, Combat Rock by The Clash. Boy, did I play this one a lot. That, of course, had Rock the Casbah and Should I Stay or Should I Go. I still hear those all the time on the radio. Number two from the great George Thorogood and the Delaware Destroyers, Bad to the Bone, that great title song and much more on there. And drum roll, please. Yeah, my favorite album from 1982. Another one that will surprise pretty much everybody. It's this one by Joe Jackson, Night and Day. The one big hit on there was Stepping Out, but there were a bunch of other great songs on there like Breaking Us in Two, Real Men, and A Slow Song. There you go. A bunch of terrific albums from 40 years ago, 1982, many of which still sound pretty great today.